Well, I want to <clears throat> respond to a very urgent call by the Catholic Cardinal Mario Zenari from Syria. He has issued a couple of days ago a call to the world to come to the help of the Syrian population. He says that more than 90% of the Syrian population are under the level of uh, extreme poverty, that they are in danger of losing their life because of famine, and that the 10 years of the war, uh, the sanctions, uh, <clears throat> the pandemic has created a situation where the suffering of the Syrian population has become absolutely intolerable. And I want to ask all of you, our viewers also, to watch a documentary which has been produced by the head of the World Food Program, David Beasley, in which he has a 40-minute documentary, which is extremely difficult to watch, but I want you to watch it because, you know, it shows that Yemen, which is practically, um, you know, in the similar situation like Syria, that children are, are dying. And, and Beasley said that they were dying in front of his eyes in the hospital and he couldn't do anything about it because there were no materials to change it. Uh, this situation cries out. So forget about politics. I mean, just look at it from the standpoint of that there are two people, and there are unfortunately a couple of more, but let's look at Syria and Yemen, uh, where the result of the so-called humanitarian interventionist wars, I mean, what's humanitarian about this? I mean, the narrative about, you know, is that the Syrian government would have committed all of these crimes, but we know that that is not true. Uh, we know how this uh, whole policy started. Colonel Black uh, said very clearly that the plan to, to have regime change in Syria was made by the Pentagon about 10 years before uh, the destabilization happened in 2011. And we know what was the policy of regime change for the entire region, Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, <clears throat> uh, Syria, Libya. Uh, so the narrative about how this war happened is completely wrong. But even leaving that aside, leaving aside the fact that, you know, there are inner political struggles between the different Arab countries, why uh, certain Arab countries supported this uh, false material of the Caesars Act, Let's start with the humanitarian situation. When you have a people about to die and the world is doing absolutely nothing, that means the people who are watching that are morally unfit to survive. And I, I'm crying out to you and to help us to make a mobilization because we have to get rid of this Caesars Act and there has to be a, an immediate reconstruction of Syria. The so-called Donors Conference, which just took place in Brussels a couple of weeks ago, was a complete charade because it collected a few billions of dollars, but they will not go uh, to the central government in Syria. They will go to the neighboring countries who have taken refugees. They will go uh, to some opposition groups and NGOs, but they will explicitly not go for the reconstruction of Syria. And what Cardinal Senari has made emphatically clear, he says, without a reconstruction, there is not going to be any end of this misery because, you know, it's not just giving food and medicine, which is urgent right now, but unless you rebuild the country, which is in, in a rubble field, there, there is no solution. And he, he said, peace through development is what is the only way out. So it would be very easy. Uh, you know, we have from the Schiller Institute worked for you know, almost half a century on plans how to develop Southwest Asia. The first was my husband in 75 when he proposed the OASIS plan. Um, then in the recent period, uh, we have worked out a plan for Yemen called the Phoenix Plan, a plan for Syria called the Felix Plan, and all of that could be implemented in the context of reconstructing Southwest Asia in the, you know, with the Belt and Road Initiative, the new Silk Road uh, involving all the countries of the region and ending this misery. So I really think this, uh, let me just say one last thing on the Caesar Act. This is a lie. 
uh, this was uh, manufactured photographs showing so, so supposedly the tortures of the Assad regime, but you know it, it's for the vast majority it's pictures of Syrian soldiers who were killed by Al Qaeda. We have seen these kinds of fabrications again and again. Remember the <clears throat> uh, babies who were supposedly ripped out of the incub incubator by Saddam Hussein. Uh, in in the first you know in the first U.S. attack uh, against uh, Iraq, then we had the so-called yellow cake, which all turned out to be a lie. The so-called weapons of mass destruction, which did not exist. Then we had the lies by the white helmets about the so-called use of chemical weapons, which was a false flag operation. So this has to stop, and the Caesar's Act should be lifted, and all the congressmen who are not lifting it make themselves co-complicit uh, in every death which is occurring in this region. I really want to put it in these stark terms because you know this has reached a point where either the way world wakes up and we start to remedy this or we will not survive because of our own moral failure as a human species. So I call on you, work with the Schiller Institute, work with the Committee of Coincidence of Opposites, which is our our arm to to help you know to try to get aid programs and, and reconstruction so I, I appeal to you get in contact with us and respond to the call of cardinal scenari which has not been covered much at all by the western press and that alone should tell you the one-sidedness of the media coverage which we have to overcome <laughs>